Thanks, Dr. Stewart, for our introduction. And I would like to thank uh, TCG committee for inviting me here and uh, giving a uh, talk about our work on profiling long intergenic non-coding RNA interactions in cancer. The so primary focus of this work is to catalog link RNA expression among TCG cancer type. Basically, we are extending initial profiling efforts made by Dr. Sanders' uh, lab as well as Eric Larson there in profiling ovarian cancer link RNA profiling, as well as MD Anderson group, Dr. Han Liang there. They did the pseudo exp pseudogene expression profiling among the non-coding RNA part. And more importantly, using uh, this kind of data, we would like to leverage the TCG data types from mRNA mutation and copy number to facilitate integrative analysis that can help us to understand emerging gene degradatory role of this linked RNAs in cancer and to ascertain whether this transcribed non-coding RNAs have any regulatory role or they are merely a transcription noise. So link RNA in general, they are more than 200 base pair length non-coding uh, no, RNA without any coding potential. They do have foliar tail for most of the annotated link RNAs, uh, and they do show epigenetic mark consistent with that of transcribed genes. Uh, depending on the annotations they use, uh, there are more than 10,000 uh, computationally predicted transcript, uh, oh, sorry, transcripts have been identified, and 3,000 of them, they show conserved patches among them. In terms of the functional relevance in cancer, uh, I think it is very unclear as, at, as of now that how does a mutant protein like T53 or BRAF mutant protein, they can interact at the target regulatory site uh, with the co-regulator proteins. And so link RNAs, they've been known to play such, uh, facilitate such oncogene-driven down downstream gene regulation. Basically, they can act as a molecular scaffold and allow such proteins to interact together in the gene regulatory sites. And this is evident by the recent publications uh, uh, by role of hot air and other link RNAs in EZH2 chromatin remodeling, as well as uh, role of NREL and P21 in tumor suppressive signaling. However, what is not known is how exactly these interactions are happening. And so one of the theory, uh, emerging theories, that could be a sequence-specific transcription, sequence-specific intera interactions of link RNA with DNA and adjacent RNAs. And this could be transposable elements, uh, microRNA seed sequence, or G4 quadplex within the RNA sequence that can help them to form the structure, secondary strand loops that can help them form scaffold. And if there is such sequence specific structures, uh, do we find any enrichment of this link RNAs harboring such motive to drive uh, downstream gene regulation in cancer? So, with those questions in mind, uh, we're proposing this. Uh, analysis outline. Uh, first, uh, we will quantify link RNA expression in TCG tumor types. As of now, we are profiling melanoma and prostate cancer. Second is to correlate this expression with existing expression, mutation, and methylation phenotypes. And third is to identify enrichment of the sequence-specific uh, link RNA DNA interactions at regulatory domains of cancer genes. So moving to the first part about the quantification, so depending on the uh, link RNA annotations, there are two primary uh, sources for this link RNA annotations. One is from Broad and Encore, that's what we use, and we have also included a few link RNAs uh, which were not in this databases, uh, which were part of the earlier analysis by Michigan Group uh, on prostate cancer. And so just to avoid the quantification bias regarding the RNA, in RNA-seq experiments, in non strand specific RNA-seq experiments, we are excluding intergenic as well as overlapping uh, annotated transcripts. Uh, and we are just taking 75% of the intergenic uh, transcript uh, for these annotations. Uh, we have used cufflinks as well as ST-seq uh, by Eric Larson and group uh, for prostate cancer and ovarian cancer link RNA profiling. So coming to the phosphorus analysis, uh, what we observe as seen in this figure from Eric Larson's earlier paper that most of the sorry, majority of the link RNAs which are expressed, they have a poly a tail and rich as compared to uh, the coding RNAs. And uh, however, uh, as I, I think compared to the other studies, uh, link RNAs also show very comparable <laughs> low expression compared to the coding genes. This is in ovarian as well as this is in melanoma where the link RNAs are substantially low expressed compared to the messenger RNAs. Uh, 
Next, I did uh, 189 link RNAs, which were most variably expressed uh, within 327 melanoma samples. And in this unsupervised cluster, uh, these are the known uh, either mutation mass, uh, mRNA subtype, sorry, mutation subtypes or the methylation subtypes and other characteristics from the TCG, the melanoma IWG uh, analysis. And these are the uh, link RNA expression profile. And what we see is three distinct clusters. Uh, the first cluster uh, pretty much uh, is based on uh, based on the subtype, based on the methylation, as well as mutation signature. And these samples are predominantly uh, methylate, same normal-like. And among this, this small cluster, is, which is highly expressed in this link RNA, is they have triple wild, most of the samples are triple wild type, which is BRAF, NRAS, and NF1 wild type samples, as well as third wild type. In contrast, the second cluster here has predominantly uh, third uh, mutant samples, 13 out of 25 identified third mutant samples are here. And in the last cluster, this is predominantly CPG island hypermethylated samples as well as beta file type. And so we looked further into this 189 link RNAs and see if we can identify any link RNAs which were previously experimentally validated or something like that. In fact, we find a couple of link RNAs uh, which tend to have a role in uh, cancer-specific regulations, either mo uh, modulating dark signaling, or CD49 is interesting. It's, uh, it's on the 5P15 regions, uh, although it's uh, very far from the third promoter region, but uh, it's on the same locus there, and it has a role in, and it's very, it's upregulated in the same cluster of the, where the third mutant, uh, third samples are predominant and it has a role in RB signaling in activation pathway. Uh, so next we did, took this link RNA regions and uh, asked the question whether this link RNA regions are enriched in the regulatory regions of cancer target genes, like oncogene-driven genes. And we did the great or genomic region enrichment analysis, and what we find is, uh, in fact, the link RNA shows significant enrichment uh, for the, uh, uh, close to the prox uh, like proximity to gene annotations regulated by HOXA9, ERCC, FOXO, and other cancer-specific genes. In particular, these link RNAs are more enriched in distal regular region, either uh, 5 kb upstream, or most of the time is between 5 to 20 kb upstream regions, and possibly indicating their enhancer like activity. However, we are we are still working on this thing and see if this is real or not. Next, we did. Uh, identification of sequence-specific interactions, if any, within the regulatory domains of this cancer gene. And so first, uh, past like de novo motive discovery uh, reveals that this link RNAs may have potential role in uh, transcriptional regulator and cancer growth signaling pathways as evident by this uh, top predictor motives and their, their binding to they're binding mediating the GTP is growth signaling or wind pathways. Among them, uh, there are RNA complementary motifs binding to EGR, ZEP1, and others. Uh, and so besides this motive, we were also interested if the transposable elements might play some role because they are uh, most abandoned across throughout the genome, and we were just uh, like curious about whether or not link RNAs are enriched uh, compared to the rest of the genome. And what we find is, uh, in fact, 23% of the link RNAs transcript have at least one or more LO sequences uh, in the coding region uh, of the uh, coding region of link RNA. And this was uh, further corroborated by the recent publication where they showed that the link RNA exonic regions are, in fact, significantly uh, enriched for LO elements, transposable elements, including LO elements compared to their intronic counterpart, as well as the other non-coding RNAs or protein coding genes. And this possibly hint that uh, these sequences might play some role in RNA RNA interaction, which was earlier shown in one or two classical papers where they have shown that the ALU mediated RNA uh, interactions. And also, we, we, we did whether or not these ALU elements are enriched for the so ALU has several subfamilies depending on the primate evaluation. And uh, what we find is there are preferential hits uh, across, uh, within only specific subfamilies like JB, ASX, and YC, specifically ASX, which is the most recent expansion of ALU sequences along with the Y uh, uh, and specific to humans. And that might hit again 
towards some regulatory role. Again, we are working on this kind of interaction and see if uh, in terms of expression correlation it makes sense or not. And so in summary, uh, we did the expression profiling for link RNA in melanoma and prostate. I have just shown here melanoma, but uh, in the synapse, uh, we would have planned to put all analysis there in, in synapse portal. Uh, also, we shown the differential link RNA expression uh, is based on methylation phenotype as well as mutation signature. And uh, link RNA exonic regions, they harbor ALU elements uh, in abundance, and they might hint that the possible role in sequence-specific interactions. So ongoing task right now is to outline the functional relevance of this uh, differentially expressed link RNAs, and that is by creating co-expression network uh, using this predicted link RNA uh, microRNA as well, sorry, link RNA messenger RNA and link RNA microRNA partners, and to overlay the copy number alteration data and see if, uh, if anything significant comes out of the copy number uh, amplified or deleted regions. And simultaneously, we are making this data available in Synapse, uh, and hopefully, once the pipeline ready, we will, we, we will be happy to work in FIROs and see uh, we can have a catalog of link on expression across CCG tumors. So with that, I would like to conclude, and I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Linda Chin, as well as my committee for the valuable insight, my team, uh, Firehose team, and TCG working groups for giving all the analysis support, and Eric Larson in particular, uh, for working with me on uh, prostate cancer data. Thank you so much. You. We have time for some questions. So, allos are all over our genome. Um, do we know these allos were hot? Like, if they were at line one or something that we know that they're active, but if they're allo, how do we know they are hot and they have significance um, in your data set? So uh, for, we only work, uh, looked in the ALU, like ALU regions and exonic, but the previous paper that showed, I think they were showing that the not line, ele line elements are substantially enriched and then after the ALU elements. And the, that could possibly indicate that they are active there, so because lines are like retro elements and they can jump in, jump out. So, but for ALU, we haven't, we haven't checked that part yet. Yeah, partly because ALUs are not active. They always need some Right, they need a retro, ones, right. They don't have the end nucleus activity or they don't have retro uh, RT. Right, they need, they need L1 dependent, right, that's true. Okay. But no, we, ha we haven't checked that. Question, Amir. Sure. Did, did you guys do you guys have a way to start looking at mutations and their correlation with expression? We ran into this mallet one gene, which is yes. a link RNA yeah. and squamous cell cancers. And so for melanoma, uh, for melanoma, there are 39 whole genome samples. We don't have a map files yet, uh, but what we did is uh, was I think there are too many false positive tests. But what I did is uh, took only link RNAs which are noted and run the variant calling. Uh, either like let's say 20 kb ups up and downstream of link RNA regions. There are variant hits across uh, those which are expressed, but again, I can, I'm not sure about the quality of uh, the variants. It's, it's just because ongoing work. it's ongoing work, yeah. Is there one more question? Okay, well, let's thank Amir one more time. <laughs> okay. So the last uh, speaker in our talk is Andrew Gross from the UC San Diego. He'll be talking about multi-omics classification of head and neck cancer ties P53 mutation to 3P loss. Thanks. Andrew.